Shavua Tov, a good vach. You're listening to Community Matters. I'm your host, Leon Goldenberg. Thank you for tuning in, and let's get right to it. Tonight we will have, in just a minute, a rare opportunity and a privilege to host the mayor of the city of New York for his first interview as mayor in the Jewish community. My longtime friend, Mayor Bill de Blasio, before the mayor joins us, first, I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of my listeners and the community to wish my deepest condolences to the Stark family on their enormous loss. Mr. Stark was a husband, a father, a son, and a brother. Somehow that fact got lost by all the secular media. May this family and our community have no more pain. And Hashem Yinkam Dam. Unfortunately, the horrific abduction and murder of Menachem Stark continues to shock our entire community to its core, and rightfully so. As most of you know by now, the New York Post headline and subsequent media coverage created a tremendous uproar. It seems that the Post takes every opportunity to sensationalize stories having to do with the Orthodox Jews, and in my opinion, they have crossed the line in this headline. Who'd want him dead? Sensationalist journalism at its worst. There's a lot to talk about, but now I would like to welcome to the show the Honorable Mayor of the City of New York, Bill de Blasio. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Leon. It is great to be with you, and thank you again for all your support and friendship over the years. Okay. Mr. Mayor, the last time you were on the show, we discussed the New York Post, the coverage of when you made that most thoughtful uh, comment and respectful comment, really, uh, on behalf of the passing of the late Rav Avadja Yosef, and a terrible characterization of the departed Jewish sage. So you yourself are no stranger to the controversial and incendiary New York Post coverage. Many times you've been uh, impacted by it. I have to ask you, what was your reaction and thoughts to the horrific abduction and murder of Mr. Stark? Look, it's a tragedy what happened to Mr. Stark, and my heart goes out to his family, and they are in my thoughts and prayers. And I know for many, many people in the Jewish community, this has been a very painful moment. And I want to say, first of all, we are going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find who did this to him and, and who robbed a uh, children of a father and a wife of a husband. And then we're going to be very, very focused and I know the NYPD working with the Nassau County authorities are making this a high priority to solve this once and for all. But I have to say, you're right. Uh, I've seen uh, many a uh, headline that was not appropriate. This was particularly inappropriate. You know, the family was in pain, the community was in pain, and that uh, headline was inappropriate. It was unfair. It was hurtful. And there's really no place for that kind of thing in this city. So I. I know a lot of people are outraged, and I share their outrage. Okay, so let's move on to some other issues. Uh, I saw you up in Albany this week. Uh, we were both up there for the State of the State. You had front and center. I was, you know, in the peanut gallery. But it was still a, an exciting thing to go to. Uh, and you were up there really looking for your signature issue for backing on the Universal Pre-K, which you did get uh, really from Shelley strongly backing you, including the tax. Uh, what's your take? Do you think it's going to happen? Do you think that the state Senate will stop it? Uh, I feel very good. I have to tell you, Leon. Um, Speaker Silver has been enormously supportive, as have the members of the Assembly. Uh, we've got a lot of support in the Senate. We've certainly kept up a good dialogue with the leadership of the Senate. Uh, I think uh, the, the public support is outstanding, not just in New York City, but statewide. I think more and more people understand we have to help our young people uh, early on to get the kind of education they need. We obviously need to have more after-school options so kids are safe after school and learning. So I think we're going to do very well here. We've got a few months ahead, but the momentum is really building. Okay, very good. Uh, the AP is reporting that you visited a middle school in the Bronx on Thursday again, about the after-school programs, along with, of course, universal pre-kindergarten. Your quote is having said that after-school programs were a powerful tool to keep middle school students engaged and involved, and also help working parents by providing their children with safe places to be in the afternoons. 
uh, for our community, priority five and seven are exactly that. And that's something that you've worked on for years. Uh, do you feel that's going to happen? When that's going to happen? What are your thoughts on that? Well, I did work on for many years saving priority five and seven vouchers. I've said to you and many people uh, that the reason I Mayor Bloomberg on that was I understood that for so many large families in the Jewish community and in other communities, the priority five and seven vouchers were a lifeline. These are families that don't do have a lot of kids and need help. And I see the priority five and seven vouchers entirely connected to what I'm trying to do in general with early childhood education, whether it's pre-K, Head Start, child care, all of these pieces help to prepare and to protect our children. So my plan is to find the first opportunity, and I don't know if that will be in this budget or in uh, the year after budget, but the first opportunity uh, to restore the Priority 5 and 7 vouchers. Uh, I think it was uh, tremendously unfair that they were taken from the community. I think it's something we need to restore, and I'm going to do so the first chance I get. Okay, I know your people are, are already emailing me that you have, you know, other commitments. So if you want to make any last comments before uh, we say good thoughts to everybody, uh, go ahead, uh, Bill. Well, I just want to say, Leon, that uh, just on a personal note, uh, you've worked with me and I've worked with you since I was in the city council representing communities that included Borough Park and Kensington. Uh, we've worked together as I've been advocate, uh, public advocate and now as mayor, and I look forward to uh, continuing to work closely with the community, with the leaders of the community, and to make sure that government is responsive. As you know, one of the most essential points I made in this campaign is that government must serve all five boroughs equally, must serve all neighborhoods equally, all communities equally, and I am adamant to make sure that happens, and I look forward to a close working relationship. Okay, and I invite you every time, and our uh, uh, gambling show is over with the mayor. If you want to make this show your home, or at least your home in the Jewish community, you're more than welcome any time to come on board. And with that, I'd like to wish you a good week. I'd like to wish you really strength that you're going to need to lead the city in the right direction, which I'm sure you, you know and you recognize. And uh, to wish my entire audience a good luck, and I will be continuing the show uh, as soon as the mayor hangs up with my uh, co-host, uh, which will be Haskell Bennett. Uh, Mayor, thank you again for appearing, and uh, have a, a good evening. Thank you very much, Leon. Be well. Bye-bye. Okay.